Hi guys, uh, Damien Fuel Exhaust. It's Friday again, it's a Fuel Friday. This week uh, I'm going to show you how to make a, a round bracket. Um, fairly easy thing to do. Uh, just helps you out if somebody won't make you one. We can't always make these and supply them because they do take a little bit of time. Uh, but you can make them at home if, you, if you've got a bit of experience and hopefully this video will help you out. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to make a bracket today. Um, basically, what we need to do is, obviously I'm working right from the start here, so the diameter of a cap that we're going to use today is 110 millimeters. Okay, that's that cap. Now the sleeve that this fits on the inside of here, this sleeve is 0.8 millimeters thick. So 0 0.8 millimeters. Okay. So now we have a piece of rubber. This rubber, the thickness of that is two millimeters. And then the bracket that we're gonna form, this thickness itself is 1.5 millimeters. Okay, so we've got our 110, but because we've got a metal thickness here and a metal thickness here, so that's two metal thicknesses. So this is times two. So that becomes 1.6. So obviously here again, because this is going to be going around the outside here, obviously this is a smaller one, but the two mil and the two mil becomes four mil. And then all we're going to use is because uh, we, we're using something called neutral line theory, which is th the dead center of that. So we're just going to use one metal thickness, which is 1.5. Okay, so 110 plus 1.6 plus 4 millimeters plus 1.5 millimeters gives us a total of 117 Point one millimeters okay so to get our circumference around the outside here what I usually do is now I use the 171 uh, sorry 117.1 times by so we go 117.1 times by this fella here now this is Pythagoras which is also known as 3.14, I like to go to the third decimal place, so 117.1 times by pi, which is 3.142, equals 367.9, okay? And because we're working backwards uh, for this particular bracket itself, you can, you can use this for any bracket that you're doing, uh, you just work it backwards. As long as you're using them for, for this, you just change your measurements for whatever you're doing them with. So uh, we're going to use a 50 mil tab on each end here, so a 50 mil fold. So 367.9 plus 50 mil plus 50 mil. Okay, so that is that should work out at 467.9 okay and if we ma if we measure across this here we have got 468 which is pretty good 468 so that's our total length of our bracket okay Okay, so our 468, this measures 468. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna measure this. We've got our 50 mil tabs at each end. So I'm gonna put the 50 mil on here and I'm gonna just put a, a, a scribe mark, which is 50 mil, turn it round. Another scribe mark at 50 mil. Now, obviously, these holes have been pre-cut because this is a laser-cut bracket because I don't want to spend all day drilling and, and cutting brackets out. 
I've already drawn this on a, on a card, and normally we, we could have them folded as well, but I, sometimes I prefer to fold them because you can use different offsets uh, and different lengths, uh, tab lengths, uh, but that gets a little bit more complicated to work out. I'm just showing you the basics here. But So what we can do now is we'll fold these two over at the folder. Okay, so we're back over at the big old Bertha, the, the folder. This is a folder that I've had for about 20 years now. Uh, throw anything at it, it's great. Uh, it's, not, it's not automatic or anything, manual thing. A uh, bit of a beast, but it does the job. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, on this line here, I'm just going to put it into the folder. Straight up, so that the line lines up with the back of the fingers there. Right on the line. And I'm going to bring it up, and I'm just going to fold it at not quite 90 degrees. Okay. So I've just got to fold like that, put it back into the other side, right up to the finger, bring it right up, just a not so 90. Okay, so now we've got the basics of a bracket. So what we're going to do is go over to, uh, over to the bar now, and I'll show you how we fold them. So basically, straight for me. So, very old antiquated way. I don't have any forming tools. I've always found this is the best way. I'm very fast at, at doing this. I can make um, a considerable amount of brackets in an hour uh, just because I'm, I'm used to doing it. Making press tools for everything is quite expensive. So I prefer to do it all by hand and I can adjust things as I go along. So I've got a bar up about the right size. And what I basically do is if you come in here, I'm gonna show you over, over the edge of the bar here, what we what we want is we want a curve right up to this fold line. We don't want any flats because it won't fit nice and uh, flush with it with it around the outside of the exhaust. So what I do is I use my hand and I'm going to press down until the end there, and then I form around here. So now I've got part of my bracket formed. I just open that up a little bit, turn it the other way back to here. I press down to the to the edge of the fold, and then I bring it round and fold round and just bring it in. So now, what we've got is a nice round bracket uh, and it should be perfect, nice and round. And if we put go over to, to the bench and we'll put a rubber around there, uh, just to show you what it looks like, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is what I'm going to do here is just put, oops, wrong rubber. Okay, so get the rubber all the way around here, feed it on, put it around the bracket. These are all pre-cut, I've all, already done all these. I just ping these on. There we go. So there we have our round bracket. Obviously, this is the uh, the diameter of the of the exhaust. This goes around here, and here we should have a perfect fit. Okay. So that's our fuel Friday. Um, basically, a nice, basic, easy way to do a round bracket. Um, if you like the video, please put something in the comments. Even if you give us a thumbs up, put something in the comments. Uh, it's always great to get some feedback on what we're doing, on what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to try and do, like I said before, try and do a video every week on just something little, something a little bit more advanced sometimes if I, if I can and I've got time to do it, I will do. But like I say, please like um, our posts and uh, and share our post as well. Thank you, Lou. Uh, she's behind there going So yeah, because I've forgotten what to say. Um, but yes, if you, can, if you can share, it'd be a real great help to us. It helps British manufacturing. It helps show that we're not just a company that buy things in from somewhere. We do make everything. I do hand make things in here. Uh, I have been doing the same for 25 years now. Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, like I say, please like and share. 
and we'll see you again next week for Fuel Friday. Thank you.